was just in a bad spot. I was meant to die in the car. Yeah, now person is in touch with the vehicle. We need to ask you. November the 20th was a Friday, so it was just after work, just going to a mate's house having beers, and I took it a bit too far. And everything sort of happened in the front yard, and he had his keys, and then he dropped them, so I ran out, picked up the keys, went inside, and put them on the kitchen bench. And I took them back, and I'm like, I'm driving, and that was about it. I just had this horrible gut feeling. Yeah. All these lights coming down the driveway and, and it was actually the police officer that turned up at the door. It just sank, I was panicking, I was hysterical, I was screaming, just getting to the hospital. I've got to see my boy, I don't want him dead, I want to, I've got to see my boy. It was, yeah. Most horrific night ever. He had blood everywhere and still glass in his hair and on his face was all scratched up. I had five brain hemorrhages. I had a chip on my C4, a punctured lung. Lost 80% of my vision. All I could think of was I just want to get out of this place. You just be talking to yourself in your head all the time. I was just hating myself. What I would like you to do is each day, tie and untie your shoelaces more than once, okay? There's a little bit of a sensory difficulty there with actually grabbing onto that shoelace. Yeah. When you're in hospital, you have all the nursing care and support. And so when you get home, you actually realize how difficult it's going to be washing, dressing, you know, making your own lunch. You've got the order right? You've got it sorted? Um, what does mum want? A garlic aioli. Yeah. It's definitely in there, isn't it? Where? Just wait, let him find it. Thanks, baby. I thought that was a cat. <laughs> we don't own a cat. Do you want to just give mum some <laughs> feedback about your rap making skills? My rap making skills are <laughs> <laughs> Look at how flat it is. It's hard on him, and you watch him go down, and it breaks your heart. He was just, just a friendly kid, you know, like we used to do lots of sports, every sport under the sun. You use files, don't you? Yeah. Oh, this makes me miss it. I guess everything is just frustrating because I used to be so good at everything. I used to be so independent, but now I have to have someone with me to look after me. Uh, it's it's all done now, it's all happened. I can't really do anything about it, so I might as well just get out and acknowledge this is where I almost lost my life. I was lucky enough not to hurt someone else while I was drunk driving. I mean, there's plenty of other things that I could have done to prevent this happening. I was just not thinking properly and I just took off. Just call a cab, call a mate, call your mum. Just get someone to pick you up. It's not worth it. It really is not worth it.